Today we're going to learn about place value. Uh, you have manipulatives at your desk. You have these uh, base 10 blocks and I will explain to you what they uh, all represent and how to do it. And um, if you could uh, just take one and put one on each of your desks. And um, when I uh, show you what it is. Um, these are called base 10 blocks and we have these three types of blocks and each of these blocks are uh, they have a name so when I call them uh, this particular name I want you to pull it out and put it on your desk so we have uh, this one block right here and it's called a unit it's one uh, it represents uh, number one so uh, then right here we have a long uh, this, this will be called the long it represents 10. So as you can see, this one unit uh, is one of these tens. So 10 of these units that I have right here on the mouse. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. These one units. Uh, there we go. Uh, is can represent one long, okay? Ten of these. And, come on. There we go. And this is called a flat. Uh, as you can see, it is flat. <laughs> and uh, one unit fits in each of these. Okay? So, it's it's a hundred. It is a hundred. Uh, a flat is made up of a hundred units and ten longs. So ten of these longs can fit in a hundred. Alright, now let's have a number. On your paper, You, I want you to write, in your math journal, I want you to write this number for me and then I want you to draw it out and also use your manipulatives in front of you. So we have four hundred uh, 56 okay and I am going to show you how it's represented okay okay so this is our ones let me write that down for you let's do a different color the, uh, I'm sorry this is our ones our tens whoops don't want this nope 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 want the eraser there we go and this is our hundreds and there we go so uh this is our ones, tens, and hundreds. And if we keep going, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. But right now we're gonna go. We're gonna just learn uh, to our hundreds place. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to take these base ten blocks and make four hundred and fifty-six. How am I gonna do that? We are. There we go. We are going to. I'm going to show you how to do how it's done. All right, so we're going to let's start right here on uh, our our ones place, and we're going to use our units. See, there's just one unit, and um, I want six ones, so I'm going to get six of these units. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to move them over here. So we have six ones. Uh, our units represents our ones, uh, tens. So I want five longs. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take these tens. Okay? And as you see, I have five tens. Now I need four hundred, so I need four of these flats. So I have one right there, two, three, four. So four hundreds. 
And if we want to write this in an extent expanded notation, expanded form, I would do, anybody, anybody, okay, 400 <laughs> plus 50 plus 6. So 456. All right? Does everyone understand? So let's clear it all out and let's do another number. Let's say 657. Okay? So I have 657. I have need seven ones five, uh, so I need seven units, five longs, and six flats, okay? So, six flats, one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, bring this over, and I'm going to delete it. So I have 600, right here, I have 600 of these flats. Now I need t uh, our long, so I need five of those. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take this and bring this over. Y'all understand? So I have five tens. Okay? This is our tenths place. This is our hundreds place. Now I need seven units. So I, I mean I need seven ones, so I need seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I bring it over. I bring it over and I have seven units. So I have 657 base 10 blocks right here that represents our number.